Hello, yes, it's a beautiful day in the Kingdom of Fife. We are in Tier 3. I am a man of Fife myself, so I'm allowed to roam Fife safely and above all Covid restrictions. However, forgetting all that, it's a day to get outside because the sun is shining bright. I sat down and I thought to myself, Ginger man, where else is better to go than Windy Gates on a sunny day? So Windy Gates, show me what you got! Peace! Well, here we are. We are at the home of East Vale football team. Now, I decided to park my car here because over the years I've played football in Fife many times. And this is a particular um, place that I've spent actually a lot of time playing football. I've never come to Windygates other than to play football. So I thought, why don't you just park your car here? Now, the one thing that always struck me about Windygates is the smell of a brewery. I know there's a brewery here because every time when I played football here, all I can smell is hops. <laughs> hops, hops, hops. And I think that's over here. But it's at the other side of that road. So I don't think we can get to it. But yeah, what a beautiful day. What an absolutely beautiful day. I'm excited about this one. It's the Greg Institute. It's the famous, the famous Greg Institute. I went to where the Greg Institute is and I walked this way and it turns out I only could walk like 200 yards and I was on to a country road so nothing that way we'll go back this way and see what we can see Milton Road <laughs> Someone's done a naughty on Milton Road Uh oh It's a mud willy there's a mud willy on Milton Road. I always felt like uh, Windy Gates was quite a semi medium to large village. Town, village, I'm going to say it's a village. I don't want to offend anyone by calling a village a town or a town a village. Because some people, some people get upset by that. Some people get upset by that. I know. Walking and a bus goes by you, especially a double decker. It is deafening. Oh, yeah, boy. It's the old hoose. Old hoose. Not old house. It's the old hoose. Check it out. It's quite a nice building. What I like about the old hoose is it's got a lovely sign that says good food, good friends, good times, very nice. It doesn't say very nice. So that's the old hoose. The are at Tammy Studio 19. There we go. Well done to Tammy for having 19 studios. I wish I had a studio. 
And here we are on Balcurvy Road. We've got a nice bench. These would be filled with flowers, I'm sure. Oh man. In memory of Alex Thompson. It's got a bench. Nice. Huh? Where does this take us? I think, right, we'll come back that way. I think that takes us to the... That takes us back to Greg Park. So we'll come back that way. We'll come back that way. But this is the way I'm going. Here we have an extremely intimidating road. Police. I think I might take the flyover. I'm going to take the flyover. I got the road crossing fear. There's a bit of a bend there, but I want to get over to that side because it looks like there's lots to adventure and explore and see and do. And... <sighs> Come on. Come on, Windy Gates, let's be having you. You got a tree swing, Windy Gates. You got a tree swing, have you? This is much safer, although I don't like heights. As you, if you watch plenty of episodes, you'll know I get uh, the medical term, I get the medical term known as jobby legs when I go up high and uh, yeah, you can google it, it is a legit medical term um, I think the Latin for it is uh, jobbius legsimus so, hi well, hey, tell you what Oh. I've, uh, I'm off road, I'm exploring, and I was coming down these ste steps, I slipped, I fell, and then I bumped into this cool guy. <laughs> What's your name, buddy? Uh, Finlay. Finlay, Finlay's a great guy. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm falling again. Finlay just told me where to go and where to head, so what's the... What's the saying about this area? Is this the right, beer? Aye. So that's a, that's like a distillery. Mate. Distillery, I'm sure, right? I'm pretty sure that's a distillery. It's, it's like, a distillery. Like some part, you see the you see for there. It's a lake. Mm -hmm. It's like the river. Right. That runs into there. I'm pretty sure that's where they get the water from. Ah, uh, right. Of course. That could be that makes wrong. sense. I no, I think you're absolutely bang on. But if you come down here uh -huh. and you go up, if you find your way to the to the wet metal fence, uh -huh. go along, take a right. And, and then it's so basically a straight path, and there's a really long path. Like we've walked into Thornton before. Uh -huh. Oh, nice! It's as long as it is anything. Yeah, yeah. There's bridges and stuff. And you could, it's honestly just full with just different stuff. Is there a tree swing? Not this one. No. Uh, the coastal. Damn. We found a tree swing in the coastal path to the nice. yesterday. So. Oh, amazing! I love the coastal but path. But there's loads of different things to look at. Amazing. So you guys just out adventuring and exploring, chilling. Aye. Basically, yeah, aye. Aye. just just in a wonder. In a wonder. That's what I do, man. It's Except an early... I film it. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent man, right, we're going to get you a fist pump man, good to meet you man, good to meet you, have a good, stay safe guys, thank you for that, and there you have it, a couple of Windy Gates legends, so what happened there is I was coming down the steps, right, and I stop and I go to the guy, I go to the guy, um, I'm just, I'm taking my time because I don't want to, what, fell right on my backside, uh, but he was really nice, really sound, uh, and saved my blushes and he decided, you know what, I'll say a few words for your ginger man. So, Windy Gates, you know what I mean? And he's already told me which way to go to explore. And he said, this is awesome down here. So, amazing. I'm going to have a wee woodland tour. And then I'll get back into Windy Gates. Oh, this is awesome, man. Absolutely awesome. As someone was commenting, saying they'd like to see more of the towns. But the problem is, we're in Fife. And it's basically Farmerville. Everywhere you go, every town, there's just a delicious, enticing woodland walk waiting to be uh, discovered by the ginger man. And here I am in Windygate, it's no different. Look at this. What a day. I hope I've gone the right way that uh, those boys told me to go. I got the right eyes, 
eyes on close up of this distillery though if anyone watching it knows any anything about this pop it in the comments let us know share your information we bench made by these guys well done guys june 2010 10 years ago 10 years ago these lads what's up here just like a wee access to an old railway line it's definitely not active oh. <laughs> I keep falling oh, oh god hey oh no where did I go? look at this safety safety starts here safety starts here so you got to stop falling over ginger man sometimes you just got to keep following the path keep following the path <laughs> That boy said one time he walked all the way to Thornton. I won't be walking to Thornton today. But remember when I visited Thornton? That was a good time. I felt like it was way back in the summer I was in Thornton. Late summer. Hey, so if you're sitting there, nothing to do after this video, pop on the Thornton video. Head over to YouTube even. Head over to YouTube and subscribe and go watch them all again on YouTube once you've watched them on Facebook. I just want to keep walking. It's awesome out here. Man. I feel like Fife, before I started doing this, I knew Fife, but it was kind of like this uncovered map. And each walk I go on, it's like a, I'm shining a light on each area that I didn't know, and each area is connecting up to other areas that I didn't know about, and yeah. I could get a job being a tour guide of Fife at this rate anyone anyone want to give me a job being a tour guide of five i'd take it i'd take it what have i found oh nice we found the be stream and kill we bridge oh nice what's that train track road This is lovely here. This is lovely and it is absolutely dead of people so it's a real it's a real out of the way walk. There's no one about, it's completely you in nature. I can't hear anything. And when I say I can't hear anything, I'm lying because I can hear the water and I can hear the road in the distance. But <laughs> you know what I mean. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, this was worth the walk out here. Oh, look at this. Let's go and discover a little bit of this water area because I like it here. I really wish I'd bought a picnic because this is a lunch zone. Whee! Oh, nice. Get right down by the water. Okay. Someone's left a fishing rod here. That's how. It's how chill this bit is. Someone has just left their fishing rod. Nice.
There's a wee big fish here on the end. But is that your fishing rod? Are you the guy who's left his fishing rod watching this? Come back for your fishing rod, mate. Well, maybe this is a secret spot. He just leaves his fishing rod. I don't know, but this bit is awesome. Windy Gates. Oh, Windy Gates. You little legend, you. You might just have a seat here and chill for a bit. This is. This is just awesome. This is so, so, so nice. Look at this. This tree is like a hammock. I'm literally just lying back on this tree and it is perfect. Perfect contour and shape for my body. Man, this is great. And it's sunny, I've got the water there. All I need is a pick. I'm so hungry. I don't have the energy to walk back. Maybe I should use that fishing rod, catch some fish, build a fire, cook the fish, eat the fish. Nah, I'll go to the shop. Chill tree. It's a good fishing rod, this. Nice reel. I think someone's been camping here at some point or chilled here. This would be a good camp spot right here. Right over the distillery. The boys in the distillery can bring the beers in at night. Right, I'm gonna head back along that towards the distillery. Enough of this larking around in the woods, in the woodlands. On another day I'd keep walking along there, but we're gonna head back into Windy Gates. Because we've got to get to Windy Gates. We've got to see more of the town. Come on. I'm almost, almost back into the town, I think. I don't know. I don't know anymore. The hunger's taken over. I should have. I ate really early this morning. I ate like my breakfast like half six this morning. Which is, it's now like 12 o'clock and I didn't have lunch before I left. Ah oh, man. Where's all the tree swings at? Look at this letter in. That's one, two, three. Someone has littered three, three PlayStation 2 pads. If you ever wonder where your old games consoles go, well, they come to Windy Gates to be littered. So, hi. Hi, real bad letter in here. I think it's because we're at the side of a road. You know, the litter just gets chucked at the cars. There's a Buckfast bottle. Lots of Buckfast bottles. Hey. I think it's maybe a better position to cross the scary road off. Let's go, go, go! I thought I was brave crossing that road back there, but a man just crossed it with a child on his shoulders. Now that's brave. Buildings have some interesting stuff. Look at this one. It says Mark Inch Cooperative Social something. And it's got a couple of folks shaking hands. And I think it says Unity is Strength. There you go. People shaking hands, Unity is Strength. Look at this wee road path. Oh, nice. I'm a big fan of Windy Gates, especially today on a sunny day like it is. I'm really excited to continue my exploration. However, what is this? Who? What type of person litters their face mask? That is the question I pose to you today. What type of person? Erected from the proceeds of Social Betterment Dairy Scheme 1916. Look at this clock. I 
and it's the right time. Right, where now? We'll cross this road. There's a walk in. And the Windy Gates Hotel. So, oh god, oh god, crossing. Man, I'd go a Chinese right now, I'm super hungry. This is lovely, lovely entrance. Looks like a good Chinese, I want to go. I want to go to the walk-in. There's a walk-in in Rasai. Right, so we're now on Kenaway Road, or as the locals say, Kenawa Road. If I keep heading this way, I'm going to end up in Kenawa, but that's a different episode. This would be such a beautiful place to live, and there's so many stunning houses with very, very lucky views. There we go. Cameron Hospital Distillery, Glen Rothes Mark Inch. Glen Rothes Mark Inch, there's a couple of places yet to be explored. We're the next on the list. Wherever you go, there's woodland walks. Looks like there's another one over there. The only thing that's really going to pull me over there is a big, massive tree swing or a castle, and I can't see neither. It's a nice wee road, nice wee place to stay. It's kind of got like a, a wee village feeling itself, just like a wee village road. Looking over onto the the natural beauty. One thing though, I've not found any signs telling me any information about Windy Gates. Is this an ex-mining village? Is there mining heritage here? What is the story of Windy Gates? And why is it called Windy Gates? A bit pie? Is it particularly windy? It's not been windy today. Um, I've not seen many gates either, so... You know, lots of questions, no answers. There's a lot of litter around though, so maybe that's got something to do with the wind tossing the liver about the liver? The wind tossing the litter around, I don't know. I don't know. But I do know that I'm a big fan of Windy Gates, that's for sure. We're now walking on there just arrived from Kirkcaldy Road to Windy Gates. Now I was just thinking, I've not seen a church yet. Have you got a church, Windy Gates? There you go. Avril's touch pregnancy massage. I'm not pregnant, but I could do a massage. Nice. Yes. Quite a peculiar little place because there's lots of shops, well, lots of shops, um, and lots kind of happening, but it's smaller than you think. Or smaller than I think. If you're just watching this, you've never been here, you don't know what you think. Anyway, so we can get across this road. Oh. Right, this is the main the main bit. Look at that building, 1910. Now we're back at the walk-in. I really need to try this Chinese out. It looks amazing. I like to be sit out the front bit in the old building. Oh, well, there we go. I found Windy Gates Church. Not the only one I can find. I was hoping to maybe find a war memorial too. It might be up at the church. Let's go and see, is it going to be a churchyard, graveyard? I don't know, it's Church of Scotland. This church really blends in with the town actually. Um, really blends in, it doesn't sort of 
grab your attention like a lot of churches do as you drive through. It's kind of bl blended in with the housing estate. There's a school over there. This is nice. St. Kenneth's Parish Church. It's lovely. Oh, it's a school bell. Lunchtime is over. Men from Balcurvy and Wendy Gates who lost their lives in the World War II. World War I. There we go. It's just a very modest little plaque here. But again, modest is good too because um, it pulls you in to take your time to actually sit and read, read the names. Read the lives lost. I always find it touching to just have a wee look and see all the names. Yeah, nice building, nice church. Yep, now I'm in a maze of housing estate and I don't know exactly how to get out of here. You ever find yourself walking along a street somewhere and think, this really reminds me of somewhere else. I don't know where that is. I feel like it feels like a street in Dunfermline somewhere. Well, that's all I've got to say on that. Hey, Windygates has been class. I loved it. As I say, I did think it was a little bit bigger than it is. But all the same, I really like this place. Yeah, it's not bad here, Windy Gates. You've got the distillery, you've got, you know, you've got walks and walks and walks. You just walk all the way to Thornton if you really wanted to. Um, yeah, it's just such a great place. And to me, Windy Gates has always been the place where I played football. I came to play football and that was it. Well, today I changed that. Today I went exploring this beautiful part of Fife. Um, and I'm very happy. I really enjoyed it. So I, Windy Gates. Brilliant. What a place. Come and visit. Peace. <laughs>